Good morning my little potato chips, how are you wee patty from across the shop and you're very welcome to the channel. Now, I'm going to do another of these wee videos and then, uh, to be honest, I'm going to call this the EDC Club and maybe two or three times a week I'm going to do this format because one, it lets me go through a rotation better. I want to use more of my knives. I have quite a few knives, but I want to actually use more of them, carry more of them than just have them sit in the box and bring them out every now and then for review. So what I'm going to do firstly is, is start showing in this is my EDC carry on a day where I, I believe I'm going to use my EDC properly. Now, I know like all of us, EDC can just be the knife one day. If you're not doing much and you just want a lighter pocket, it can just be a knife or it could be a, a Swiss Army knife or, or something like that. But this is my EDC, which will do me for today, whether I'm going out, whether I'm in, whatever reason, you know, going to walk a dog, whatever. This is a, a, a typical EDC day. So they're all going to be these little, the EDC club is all going to be days where this is what I picked out that I'm going to use for today to cover all aspects. So it's not necessarily what I'm going to walk about with all the time because at some stage if I'm just in a caravan, it'll be this. When I'm going out or I can swap this and this in the caravan if I'm doing odd jobs about, this is more handy uh, and I'll set these two by my table. But this one is my flashlight and a pen light in there. That's all it is. Simple little cheap flashlight from Amazon. You've seen it before. Um, it's just sort of colour coordinated in this wee box <laughs> or in this wee, sorry. It's the wee blue, I didn't even show that properly. It's the wee blue flashlight and a little pen from Swerf Pens. And that'll sit by my desk. If I'm going out, I'll lift this and take it with me. It might go in my front left pocket with the Swiss Army knife. There's plenty of room because this is on a dangler. Uh, it's the only way to carry Swiss Army knives. And especially this one, which we'll talk about in a minute. But this can or cannot go. It mightn't get used the whole day, but it'll sit by my keys, my car keys, so I can just lift it and go. By the way, if I was to forget this, I have a mini champ on my key ring. I have a flashlight in my key ring, which covers me for a flashlight, knife, scissors, pen, the whole lot. So I'm never going to be stuck if I was to forget this. And that's one is none, two is one. That sort of mentality. So this, you know, might sit at my desk or my table and my beside my keys all day and not get used. So I'll take that out of the way. These are the two that are going to get used the most today because I'm, I'm mugging about around the caravan and this is great for odd jobs, which I'll explain to in a minute. This is my EDC carry knife and we'll get to that last because it's a knife channel. But this is a knife and a very, very good knife. So this is the Explorer and again, I have it on the wee clip and it sits in my pocket like that to the left hand side of my front pocket. And it gives me plenty of room to put anything down beside it. If I don't want to carry my wallet in my back pocket, it can go in beside it. You know, I can change about wherever I put my pocket because of this little clip. It hangs up and down at the left hand side of my pocket. Completely out of the way. I never feel it. And yet it's four layers. You know, this is a thick uh, knife. So, what is in an Explorer that makes it so good? Bottle opener. Uh, look, you can use it. There's so many, never mind corkscrew. Uh, I call it a bottle opener, a corkscrew. There's so many things for undoing knots. You can use it to pluck knots with this lovely little curl bit here. But, to be honest with you, uh, it's not something I use a whole lot, to be honest. But, also on this, you have the parcel hook. Again, I mean, you can go to some of these um, sack forums and they'll give you lots of different uses for their knives. I'm a bit more sort of practical. Um, this is your all Great little aisle on this here with a sew and I haven't used a sew and I yet. Um, you've also got your tweezers and your toothpick. And then the main tools that I'm going to want to use. Uh, let's go to the front layer. You have your bottle opener and screwdriver. You have your can opener and 2D Phillips screwdriver. And then you have the best tool that Victoria Knox make, which is this inline. Uh, this is a number two Phillips. I think it's a number, yeah, it's a number two Phillips inline. I use it all the time. 
all the time. I don't go to my toolbox at all when, I, when I'm carrying this sort of a, a knife because that's what I use, or a flathead for screwing. This will do most screws. It'll do a number one. The way it's angled, it does a number one, number two, and sometimes even you can get a bit bigger. But it's just a fantastic screwdriver, and it's in line, which makes such a difference. The other part of this is something that I use, maybe a lot of you won't use, but it's a magnifying glass. Especially if I'm sitting down here at my mucky desk and I want to check um, tang stamps or anything like that. Even with my glasses, I find it hard to see. With this magnifying glass, I believe it's a times eight. Um, just sort of show you, you can see the watch there. It is fantastic. Sorry, it's moving about. You can really, it does give you, it's a smashing magnifying glass. And if you haven't tried one, really worth trying. And then the ever useful Victoria Knox scissors. Now this is a 91 millimeter, so you're getting the big scissors and they are fantastic. Again, in line, so you can hold this and keep it out of the way and you can do anything. You know how good they are. You know, I don't need to tell you, these, these are just some of the best small scissors in the world. Super. And then on this end, you have a little pen blade, which I keep razor sharp. And I don't use it unless I absolutely need to, because this, to be honest with you, I mean, this is a, a blade that's got a cutting edge of two and a quarter. This can do most of my daily tasks, if I'm perfectly honest. And I like to be. So, I mean, it's a fantastic screwdriver. It's slim. It'll cut through anything. It'll do any task. And these are all stainless steel, so you're not worrying about rust. But it's just a super, super knife. It's four layers, but honestly, with the little clip, it sits so tight down the left-hand side of your pocket, you don't even know it's there. And that's hard to believe when you get a... If it was sitting this way, it would be uncomfortable trying to get past it with the tools. But because of the way it sits... It just goes straight down Hank Street and it doesn't move because my jeans are not skinny jeans as such, but they're tight enough when I'm in them that I can, it, it just doesn't move. It just sits there and doesn't move, doesn't cause any problem. So that is an amazing knife. If, you, if you're if you doing, if you're an odd job man about the house, great knife to stop you going to the toolbox and getting it out. So that's the Explorer. Absolutely love it. Again, one of the first times I've had this. But the magnifying glass for me is one of the probably most used tools on that, you know, apart from the knife and things like that. But I mean, the magnifying glass is so good. And that Phillips says, absolutely, it's a, it's a game changer for me because I'll go and lift that rather than lift my toolbox out and hook for different screwdrivers. Most of the time I'm doing number two, number one uh, screws. So what am I carrying as my EDC knife for today? Well, my EDC knife is the Rough Rider Reserve Warncliffe, or work knife, what they called it. Um, this is a beautiful Warncliffe, which I may add, Jack Wolf's knives, this is the knife blade shape that we're having this month. Uh, it's just, it looks amazing. I can't wait to get mine. I should get it fairly soon. But this also... For a budget version of it, I mean, these are, I'm saying budget, it's probably about 60 quid. Can't even remember what I paid for it, but it's worth every penny. It has D2, you can see that there, it has D2 steel. It is a beautiful work knife, beautiful swedge on top here. Nail neck, uh, easy pull, which just makes it, you know, again, for those people maybe just around, the easy pull just, oh, goodness sake, Stephen. The easy pull just means you can get your thumb and your finger in, open it up. Really good, solid retention when it's opened up. And you can hear that solid contact. This knife is fantastic. And for 50 quid or 60 quid, whatever it is, it's just worth every penny. It really is just a, for poking, for slicing, for whittling, just for everything. This Warncliffe blade can be so useful. I absolutely, and this Rough Riders version of it, I mean, look at that back spring. That's as good as any you're going to see. It is just stunning. Not a gap in it. It's lovely and clean inside. The micarta on this is just beautiful. Look at that micarta. Isn't that lovely? Now, it's quite smooth. It's not a rough texture. But 
this easy notch, my la the fourth or th yeah, my third finger back is straight in the middle of that, and the little finger curls around the end. I have a full four finger working grip on that. No worries whatsoever. No worries. And that is in my new HS EDC slip, which I love. It's big enough to hide this away in it without any problem. So that's my EDC and this little section. I'll maybe do it even two, three times a week because it's a nice way to me to go back over older knives and some of the knives that are, you know, I've had more recently and I haven't done reviews on. And it lets you see what I've got in my collection. And if there's any knife that you know I have and you want me to put in the EDC, I'll fit the other things around it. So please let me know in the comments. But more importantly, in the comments, give me what your full EDC is for that day. You know, if you just carry one thing like the sack, fair enough, put it down. But if you carry a multiple things, I mean, this is very keep, uh, compartmentalized into what I would do in a day. And I like to choose. Now, I have to stipulate, I I'm not working, so I, I can afford to take time to do this. I usually do it the night before what I'm picking for the next day. And that's what I picked for today. One, because I wanted to show this. These two are just would have been the today anyway. And I, and I haven't carried this for ages. So I'm getting to carry a knife that I love and I have. And I don't carry that often. That's the EDC club. So maybe we can make a bit of a thing off it. Where you tell me what you're carrying for that day. And if you want to expand on it. Tell me you know why you're carrying it. What you're using it for. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you just carry a knife. I don't mind. Let me know why you've chose that knife for that day. Or, or is there any specific reason why you would choose your EDC? So there you go. It's very simple, very quick. It's going to be around a 10 minute video because I'm not going to have to. Oh, for goodness sake, Stephen, it's like a yo yo here. Um, you know, it's going to be a, a, like a 10 minute video normally. It's just gone over it, but I've had to explain it. So I'm going to do this two or three times a week because to me, this is my knife channel. This is my, this is what I want the knife channel for before I wanted, you know, anything else this is edc what i want to choose and carry and what i want to show off to other people but what i want to get back from you which is more important so please 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 give me your feedback when i read it i'll give you a heart i'll not get the answer all of them but i'll pick out ones you know every now and then i'll try to do different people pick them out and we can chat about what you've got down below in the comments so it's the edc club and what i do when i do the edc club i'll give you the sack that i'm going to be carrying or multi-tool, and the knife. And I'll put that in the description. And then I hope you're going to join in with it. I think it's a good idea, but I've had lots of good ideas in the past that get nowhere. <laughs> Take care, putties away. I have a nice wee cup of tea to the side here. And I got through this in one take. First go, didn't have to do any editing. Have a nice day. Bye-bye now.